Welcome to the F5 Networks Advanced Web Application Firewall demo series. In this demo, we'll show how we can block four common and dangerous web application attacks command execution, SQL injection, cross site scripting, and forceful browsing using Big IP Advanced WF, F5 Networks industry leading web application firewall. This is demo 2 of the AWF demo series and it's intended for users that are new to Big IP Advanced WEF. For optimal viewing, we recommend using full screen mode. The environment for this demo contains three devices. A Windows workstation will be used to launch several types of application layer attacks. These requests will arrive at the F5 Big IP system, running Advanced WEF. The Big IP system sits in front of, and protects, the backend web application. The Big IP system, using its full proxy architecture, examines every request and can block all malicious requests and prevent them from going to the backend web servers. Let's start by launching some common layer 7 application attacks against the web server. We'll use the DAM Vulnerable Web Application, or DVWA, for short. The purpose of this user input field is to send a ping request to a network device and display the results. This is an expected response for this request. Now we'll input a command execution string. We have successfully exposed the contents of the etc directory on this web server. We have identified that there is a subdirectory named password. Using this second command, we have exposed the contents of the password file on this web server. Using command execution, we can retrieve confidential files from a web server. The goal of command execution attacks is to be able to run arbitrary commands on the target device. The purpose of this user input field is to print the ID number, first name, and last name of the submitted user ID. This is the expected behavior of this web page. Now we'll input a SQL injection string. SQL injection attacks are meant to trick a database server. This first attack string tricks the database server into returning all the user accounts in the database. This next attack string tricks the database server into sending much more data. You'll see that for each record we can see the first and last name, the user account, and then a hashed version of the user's password. Notice there's a user with the username of victim. Let's see what we can do with this hashed password. We can search the internet with this value and quickly find the plain text version of this user's password. We'll copy this password and then log out of the web application and then attempt to log in as this username using the password value that we discovered. We are successful. Notice at the bottom of the page you can see that we are indeed logged in as this user. A successful SQL injection exploit can read sensitive data from the application database, modify database data, or even delete data, or the entire database. The purpose of this user input field is to return and display the value submitted by the user. Again, this is the expected behavior of this web page. Now we'll input a cross-site scripting string. Cross-site scripting attacks enable malicious users to exploit user input fields by inserting scripts that can perform any number of functions. For example, this script uses the alert command to create a dialog box pop-up, which can display whatever text the malicious user wants it to say.
This next attack uses an iframe script. An iframe script can be used to place a frame of another web page onto the current web page. Imagine that our competitor could place a frame of their website onto our site's home page. Using cross site scripting, a malicious user could force anything they can write in a script into the field. Finally, we'll attempt to access a couple of confidential web server configuration files. First, We'll try to access the php.ini file. We are successful. Next, we'll try to access the readme.md file. Not only are we successful, but we've accessed a file with important and confidential information about the database server, such as the administrator username and password. We can copy this password and then attempt to log in as the administrator. We are successful. These are examples of forceful browsing attacks, which exploit web server files that are not accessible through web page links, but are in fact present within the web server directory. Now, Let's protect the web application. First we'll take a look at the virtual server we were just using to access the DVWA site. This is a standard HTTP virtual server that listens on 10.1.10.35. Note that this virtual server contains the default HTTP profile. An HTTP profile is required to protect against application layer attacks. On the security policies page, we can enable Big IP Advanced WEF's application security. We have already created a Big IP Advanced WEF security policy named 02 Vulnerabilities Security Policy. We'll now apply that policy to the virtual server. Next, we'll examine the security policies blocking page. We can create a custom blocking response page for malicious users. We have already created a custom blocking response page, however we'll further customize this page for a customer named Lorax Investments. When updating a security policy with Big IP Advanced WF, you must always click Apply Policy to see the changes in the application. Now, let's try the application attacks again. First, the command execution attacks. This attack is now blocked by the Big IP Advanced WEF security policy. Notice the custom response page. This user input field is now fully protected against command execution attacks. Next the SQL injection attacks. This attack is now blocked by Big IP Advanced WEF. This user input field is now fully protected against SQL injection attacks. Now for the cross-site scripting attacks. This attack is also blocked by Big IP Advanced WEF.
This user input field is now fully protected against cross-site scripting attacks. Finally, we'll attempt to access the confidential php.ini file. We are blocked from accessing this file. Let's attempt the readme.md file. We are also blocked from accessing this file. The big IP advanced WEF security policy is now protecting this web application against forceful browsing attacks. Next, we're going to simulate a massive amount of malicious attacks against the web server using an iMacro in Firefox. Notice the number of requests that are being blocked during this massive web application attack. Let's log into the DVWA web application as a non malicious user. Valid users can continue to use the web application even when it's under a massive web application attack. Let's view the big IP advanced WEF event log. First, we'll filter the log files to view only blocked log entries. Notice the high number of blocked requests. The event log provides several details of every malicious request and why they were blocked. This request was blocked because it matched an attack signature. We can view the exact attack signature that was matched. We can also view the violation rating and attack type. This request was a SQL injection attack. This request matched one attack signature and was a command execution attack. At any time, we can filter the event log using any of the current request's details. For example, we'll filter to see all the forceful browsing attacks. We can quickly see that we've had nearly 1500 forceful browsing attacks. Finally, We'll examine the built-in big IP advanced WEF security charts. We'll view just the past hour and change the chart type to stacked. We'll drill down to view the virtual server. We can view the number of legal and blocked requests this past hour. We can drill down to view just the blocked requests and then see the blocked requests by attack type. We'll change the view to see the URLs that were targeted and protected by Big IP Advanced WEF. Big IP Advanced WEF also includes an advanced filter, enabling us to see many quick reports, such as the top violations this past hour. At any time we can export the on-screen report to a PDF file. Thank you for watching this demonstration on how F5 Big IP Advanced WEF can block common web application attacks, including command execution, SQL injection, cross-site scripting, and forceful browsing. We encourage you to watch additional AWEF demos, 
and for more details on how Advanced WEF can protect your web applications, contact your F5 Networks Sales Account Manager. For questions or comments about this video, contact Chris Manley at the email address at the bottom of the page.